Oh, you still wearing your diaper, little Timmy? You're playing your 3DS? This has been happening for a while now, and this isn't the kind of resurgence in popularity that we see with the original DS. Because for some reason, that console has always been like, the baby. You know, that no one talks bad on the original DS. No one goes to that part of the internet just to go in and cast a shadow on the DS. Nobody does that. Everybody enjoys the DS. There's lots of people, loads of people that have uh, lots of memories with the DS. With Plants vs. Zombies, Super Mario 64 DS, we got Mario Kart DS, come on, Bejewel 3. Don't even get me started on the Pokemons, I shouldn't even have to mention those. We had the Sonic games on there, Sonic Rush. I know some of you remember Sonic Rush. All this stuff on the OG DS, there's a lot of stuff to love. But on the 3DS, I don't really remember that much hype around it. And I was around when this stuff was in stores. I remember seeing the commercials, but it, nothing really intrigued me about the system until afterwards. But I got into collecting this way in 2000 and 2015, probably, when I started collecting video games again. I had a passion for it, I ended up selling all my video games because I thought I grew out of it. And then, I, like an idiot, I realized that that was a foolish move, so I started buying all my stuff again. And I've noticed the market's just very odd. And yeah, I know that that one thing came, you know, that shut everything down. You know what I'm talking about. We were all masked up, at least the smart ones. The smart ones were, you know. I saw a lot of dumb people walking around not knowing how to properly use their equipment. I mean, I, even afterwards, I feel like we're out of its bio clutches now. And the prices should be going down. But it's the opposite. Prices are going up. They're going higher and higher and higher and higher. A standard 2DS, the flat one, the cheese wedge, the doorstop that everybody likes to poke fun at, that's going minimum 100 bucks on GameStop last time I checked, and I don't go on GameStop. Last time I went on GameStop, you know what, I didn't even go on GameStop. I went to a game store and they told me that GameStop is selling them for 100 and I thought that was absolutely ridiculous. No 2DS flat should go for more than $50, 60 bucks, but that's just me. The sudden surge in popularity, because there is no shortage of these systems. 70, 76,000, 70, no, sorry, 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 76 million, what am I talking about, 76,000? 76 million of these things were sold worldwide, and you're telling me that these prices are going up that high? The original Game Boy as well has been plagued by this. Don't even get me started. The original DMG Game Boy. How much is that going for? About a hundred bucks? Eighty dollars? Ridiculous pricing, man. I don't understand what the heck is going on with these systems. The older ones, okay, fine. They're getting to be like vintage things, but you can't... You can't get rid of an Atari 2600. Age doesn't mean that it's it's it it just it goes up in price. There's things that are just completely useless. You know how many Atari carts, ColecoVision stuff I see at random video game stores that just sit there collecting dust, usually marked for 199, buy one get two free. Age isn't I mean age might be a factor, but how strong is this nostalgia that we're getting drawn back into the 3DS? Cuz I never went away from the original DS. I always loved the original DS. Heck, I would emulate it on my phone back when I had an Android. I should switch back to Android actually because that, the emulation is just wonderful. What you can do with Android, okay that's a different video, different topic altogether. The whole thing is the sudden surge of 3DS. Because I remember people saying, oh the 3DS is for babies. Only kids played the 3DS. O only little kids play the 3DS. Oh you still wearing your diaper little Timmy? You're playing your 3DS? We're out here with the PS4 and we got ourselves some Xbox and you know like people were out here just completely shaming people with 3DS and now it's just coming back as if it's like one of the best things ever. Everybody here is fronting. You're all fronting and you're all capping. The 3DS was always the best system. You just failed to see that until now. And it's very strange, it's very strange to me how this is all happening. But I love it at the same time. Because that means that people are now finally appreciating the system for what it is. The 3DS is a heck of a machine, an emulation beast. Not to mention the ones with 3D capabilities have amazing, crazy technology to have the games literally pop out at you. I love me some games from the 3DS. I play them, 
when I get some new cartridges, I play them when I get them for uh, like a moderate price. I'm not gonna be overpaying for games here. I'm a collector at heart, you know. I'm I'm not gonna be out here getting getting scalped. All right. I want my scalp. Okay. No scalper is gonna be scalping. Scalper, no scalping. When I do get a new game, I'm surprised by how the 3DS can handle such games. It's almost like GameCube quality. I would want to say, I would want to say, and that's kind of stretching it, but it's really dang good. The 3DS is a dang good, powerful system. Like I said, an emulation beast, you can run Game Boy on it, I think you could run PlayStation 1 games on that thing. Don't quote me on that though, I'm not heavy into the mod scene, but I do know that maybe the mod scene, maybe that's what it is, maybe it's the mod scene that's making these systems so sought after. Maybe it's the mods, the homebrew that comes with modding a, a system. Maybe it's the way of being able to back up your physical cartridges using one of the applications by downloading it. Maybe it's uh, by, by being able to access a large library that you wouldn't usually, and I'm not condoning those actions, but you know, you, you can't control everybody, but maybe it's that. Maybe it's the fact that you can get any game you ever want at any time ever because they're all available if you mod your system. But still, it's outrageous the prices that we're having to pay for a system like this, especially because a few years ago, five, six, heck, eight years ago even, you can find one for extremely cheap. Heck, on price charting, there's one model of the flat 2DS that you check and at one point, price charting said that it was worth zero dollars and zero cents. At one point, the 2DS were worth little to nothing. I got one for $20. A couple years ago, and I got my Nintendo 2DS XL for $40. Now that thing is worth 220 bucks. Am I happy? Yes, but it's bad for the people that want to go and get an actual console and do their thing. Emulation is great. Emulation is great if you just want to try a game, if you don't want to get too invested in it. But for people that really, really want a system, it's terrible because it's very difficult for people to go out and afford something like that, especially for a used system. It's not like going out and buying a new Xbox One and all oh, you can go ahead and get a warranty or Nintendo is still out here offering support for these systems. It's over 10 years old. You're gonna have to buy an expensive system that's two, three hundred dollars and hope that nothing goes wrong with it. Hope that the top screen doesn't go bad, that it doesn't start getting the screen rot, that your battery is, is fine, you know, that it still reads game cartridges, that it's not filled with muck, that you don't have drift on your stick. It's crazy. The amount of The price explosion. What more? Uh, what, I, I, I just I'm at a loss for words. I don't even know what to put it at. It's just it, it's explosion. It's it's insane. How how is a 2DS system gonna cost the same as a PS4 Pro? That's just insane to me. You can buy a a, a used Switch Lite for about hundred twenty dollars, and that's how much a cheese wedge 2DS is going for. The current system. Use this as much as one of the old one of the older handhelds. What is going on here? My brain hurts. I'm trying hard to understand, but I'll never understand. I just needed to rant somewhere. Thanks uh, to everybody that listened. This was kind of a weird video. Goodbye. Stay peachy.